Hello everyone, welcome to another simple tutorial of Windows 10 in Openbox channel. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix if your keyboard is not working in your Windows 10 device. So hopefully I'm going to show you how to resolve this problem. So I'm going to show you some method to solve this problem. So first up, first method would be, first of all, you just have to go to the start menu here. Then you just have to go to the settings option. So keyboards is not working when you update your Windows 10. Sometimes it's properly not working. So when the settings option is here, you just have to go to the ease of option here. Ease of access, sorry, ease of access. Open the ease of access there. Then in the left here, you have to choose the keyboard option here under the interaction. Now you have to turn on the that option called use filter keys. So turn on the use filter keys and this will also turn on the show the filter keys icon and tags bar. So you don't know, don't need beep when keys are pressed or accepted. So uncheck the option here. And now you can just close out of here. And now you just have to restart your computer. Hopefully that will resolve your problem. So if not, I'm going to show you another method to fix this problem. So first you just have to go to the start menu and right click on it and you have to go to the device manager open up the device manager so what you have to do is update your keyboard driver here so if you can find the keyboards there you can just go to the file here sorry x view option here and show hidden devices so that way you can find your keyboard option here. So now you just have to expand the keyboard here. And now you can see a standard PS2 keyboard. So choose that and right click on it. And now you just have to update your driver here. Click update driver. Choose browse my computer for driver software. Now choose let me pick from and now you have to choose the standard PS2 keyboard and if you click next it will automatically install the keyboard driver here so after I install you can just restart your computer again so that will hopefully resolve your problem if that doesn't work for you you can just uninstall your keyboard here so uninstall device here after uninstall the device you have to go to the action here and you will see the scan for hardware changes here in the top here so you just now have to choose scan for hardware changes and it will also install the latest driver of keyboard here so hopefully that will also resolve your problem after that you also need to restart your computer if you find this video helpful please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching